Okay, today we've got some new plans uh, for Wanger Flange building. Uh, this one is a two frequency door. I've been do working on this for a while uh, and at last it's finished. Um, I'm going to walk you through uh, the plans and in the description you'll see a link to download the PDF for these plans. But I'll give you a little quick overview and let's have a, take a quick look through them. Uh, right, that's this is the the basic design, which is has um, windows at the front. Obviously, you can put windows anywhere you want, um, but this is the the sketch view. Um, it goes up to something like six or seven meters in diameter, um, and I'm showing this at the biggest size. But you should be able to scale this. Let's have a look next. At it. Right, this is the color coded view. Uh, You've got three different strut lengths, green, red, and yellow. It's super simple. Now the thing that's different from this uh, to the to most other two frequency domes is that it's not, um, uh, doesn't have the pentagon at the top. It's been rotated 90 degrees. So this is like a two frequency geodesic dome lying on its side rather than um, upright. Let me see if you can show it on the plan view. Here we go. So you would normally have um, a pentagon on the top. But you can see that the pentagons are not on the top. Um, they're rotated. But it gives, you, gives us a couple of advantages. One is that this line here is totally straight. So you can discard half of the dome and build this up against a wall. Just as easily so it gives you a nice flat area to build a wall and a flat base it's uh we have your cutting list uh including the door sides so everything's everything's on here it tells you the number and it tells you the number of wanger flanges you're going to need 242 funny enough i do a pack of 250 so that would be perfect to build this uh you don't necessarily need the base uh, if you'd build in the biggish one um, and you were putting it on deck and you maybe wouldn't need to bother with the base covered in canvas, you could probably get away with it. But I've put the base down uh, for a couple of reasons. One, because it gives something to, to tie into the ground, gives you a retention ring. And if you're building a smaller version, you need to increase the height of the base to make um, the door the, uh, a decent height. Uh, there you go. That's, that's an example of the. This is seven meters across this one. Don't build it any bigger than this because you're going to end up with too big a space in, in the triangle. This is maxed out pretty much and you're at 3.7 metres tall. Uh, that's your instructions for... Oh, let's talk about this um, spacer next. Um, that's your base laid on the ground, colour-coded. All the angles are rare, so you don't need to worry about that. Angles and lengths are... Right, as you join onto the base... If we take a quick look, see if I can zoom in a wee bit. Nope, I can't. So we're at maximum zoom. Uh, you can see that there's, that's where the two spaces go. Because as we go round, you have these uh, sections that lean one way but not the other. So that one is fixed to the base and this one isn't. It has the spacer in it. So uh, the green one has no wanger flanges whatsoever. So you just fix that straight on the base. Use, use a um, metal tie, um, angle, brackets, whatever you like. It's not too difficult. Uh, there you go. There's another one with it's evenly spaced, two yellows and a red. Uh, and you can get this off the the, um, the the other views. You can see which where this one belongs. So some of them have the spacer. Some of them have one spacer on one side and some of them have no spacers. There you go. That's the... The other red one has one spacer in. That's beside the door because of the grey one there. Uh, not too difficult. I think you can get your head around that. So when you're building, this is your build instructions. You would build this layer first. Put your door head in, um, your base and all of your bottom spacers. So that's all. That's where your, your work's going to be. After that, you're flying. Uh, quick note on the door. Um, there would be another three, uh, two one two yeah there's another two one goes up there and one goes up here um struts so this would form a um group of six but we have this one here which is not used 
but you still need to put it in for the correct spacing so you would that just put a bolt through that um, and yet that'll work fine uh, there you go that's your finished frame it's all finished uh, you can you can check the plan uh, or the other views for the color coding so you get it right but it's not I reckon that's not too difficult right it, this is the information for scaling it it gives you all the equations that you need to scale it and then we move on to the oh this is the geometric size which you need that for scaling uh, and then we move on oh here you go before we do that this is the little one so if you scale it down uh, look how the door is tiny but you could make this totally usable by lifting the base uh, oh God, it wants to be lift about half a meter up to about here and that would get you the door it's thinner but it would be at least the right height so you can make you can go right down to three meters I would say with this one uh, covering next we've got the covering uh, this we're just showing a canvas cover on this one uh, you can obviously replace that with polythene if you wanted to same principle but this is basically be to be covered in canvas or polythene I will be adding stuff that is covered in other things later on but I'll probably make them a whole separate set of plans uh, so you've got your measurements for your canvas because your canvas obviously needs to be a little bit bigger than the geometric size because geometric size is uh, to the middle of the wanger flanges this is obviously going to lie on top of the of the wood so you've got to make allowances this has all that allowances have been made on this so you're, you're good to go uh, yeah a couple of deep ale measurements if you're if you're worried about the, the lengths and that but these are all triangles so you just need measurements you don't need to worry about angles uh, don't forget that you have to have a overlap for your canvas and basically this is this section here was the one that we had the windows in but obviously you can put windows anywhere you want right okay thanks for watching um if there is any other structures you would like me to design please feel free to drop a note in the comments. Uh, next up, I'll probably be doing um, zooms. Uh, and I, I do have, I'll probably add a um, another file to this with all of the different sizes you can build and do them in feet and inches. This one's pretty, uh, just a quick uh, set of plans to get something out there because you've been waiting on this for a wee while. Um, but I will f fill in with a bit more detail and probably do um, a set of pages that sh that show all the measurements for go three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six sort of meters, that sort of range, you know, five or six different sizes so that you don't have to do the scale in yourself. Uh, and then after that, I'll probably do a uh, covered two frequency dome that has either a hard covering or fiberglass or panels or something like that uh, different from that but i'll make that a separate set of plans yeah okay thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one